fears lead into like having some stress in your life. So by being stress free, you got to, or if you have stress. Not really not that stressful, my life. Yeah, okay. You gotta like, go in. Namaste. You gotta learn to breathe. Buddha stuff. Gotta roll the shoulders back, push down. As if she's ever done this once in her life. I'm taking yoga now. I get Tuesday acupuncture, mornings, so I'm not stressful. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I go to acupuncture too. And I get needles put in my head, literally. Yeah, that, does, that, that actually creeped me out. One time they, she, the lady put needles in like the back of my head and I was about to cry. Like I was actually about she, to cry. She cries about over everything. I cried when I got my ears pierced and that was like last, last Christmas. <laughs> my third hole. I'm sitting oh, in the door. middle of the mall and like, like the Eaton Town Mall, honestly. And I'm sitting there and I'm getting my third hole because like the boys got me. Um, this little six year old girl just took it like a champ. I was like, oh, did like, you get your ears pierced yet? She's like, I've had them pierced for like five minutes. And she's sitting there, I'm like, oh. And then she sees me afterwards, like, I can't do this. Like, Joey, please, like, I can't. My, I, I can't. Away. I can't. And they, all, they left me in the middle of the mall and piercing Pagoda because they didn't want to watch me cry. Like, how, how rude is that? See, we just popped them through Mikey's ears. Yeah, they, um, this. Last, this past Christmas, I came home from New Year's, and that morning, my David, brother... David popped the left one in. Yeah, our friend David And then Nick Michael's popped the right like, one in. Yep. Two weeks later. <laughs> and he hasn't had them anymore, because Mom and Dad were not happy. My grandma called them a really funny word. Yeah, grandma was not happy either, but... Uh. But one actual fear is disappointing, I guess, like, the people you love, like, letting everyone down. Like, Joey, I don't want to let you down. That's not my fear. That's not your fear? Your fear is to not live up to the expectations that you're supposed to live up to? Oh, well, yeah. My fear is living, not living up to the expecta expectations that people expect me to live up to. Which are what? Being successful. So basically, becoming a doctor and paying for everything for me. That's how it's going to work. That is how it's going to work. Money, so we want to know money, how, money, you, money. how you deal with stress in your life. Uh, how, I what, squeeze one of those of, little sand balls. Yeah, and then I throw it at your face. I also punch a pillow and scream <laughs> at the wall. And I write everything down in my diary. Yeah, it's Joe, just like down. how you write poetry. I don't write poetry. Are you kidding me? Do you I don't write that anything. episode where Joey decided to go out and say, well, well oh, it was the I don't even remember that. one that was just out? And he's sitting there with like our guest, Rolanda, right? And he's just saying, I, like, I write poetry. Like, I have deep thoughts. Like, in the night, I write my feelings down, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, I'm I've cool. never done I'm one Joe of those Luca. things in my life. Um, and then when I wanted to post that on the internet to say that Joey writes poetry, he was not very happy with me. No. But he said it. Because I don't remember saying it. Well, I have it on video. I don't remember what we filmed like 15 minutes ago, to be honest. Hello? You suck at taking selfies. <laughs> Goodbye. I already hung up the phone. You're annoying, okay? Do you know that? I'm just letting you know. What kind of